David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. If you're excited, make a joyful noise. Our God is worthy to be praised. And we will give him the highest praise tonight. Let's go. Put your hands together, come on. Go sup a beer, go sip a beer, go mass all a beer. Everybody say, Go sup a beer, go sip a beer, go mass all a beer. Oh, Eva, me for the root of It is a privilege. So let's just begin to thank the Lord for this opportunity that he has given us. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity that you have given us, Father God, to be in your presence, Father God, to worship you, Father God, to lift you up, O oh Lord. Father, we ask that tonight, less of us, O oh Lord, and more of you, Father God. We ask that, Father God, you will touch every individual person in this place, O oh Lord. For this opportunity you've given us, Father, we are thankful. Father, we are grateful, Father God. Come and manifest yourself, Father God. We do not take this opportunity for granted. For this is a privilege, Father God. It is a privilege, Father God, to be in your presence for three hours. Father, we are thankful for this opportunity to praise you, to worship you, because we know, Father God, what praise can do to you. Father, we know, Father God, what worship does to you. And tonight, we just want to use that to our advantage to praise you and to worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Oh, yes, so Lord, Father, this is that moment. This is that moment we've been waiting for. Father, this is that moment that we bragged about. This is that moment, Father God, we told people that you are going to be here. 
And indeed, Father, we are expecting you to be here, Father God. Father, we ask for one thing. We ask that you please show up for us. Show up tonight, Father God. Because we know when you show up, our heart will be healed. We know when you show up, our souls will be transformed. We know when you show up, our problems will be taken care of, Father God. So Lord, touch us, Father God. Bless his soul. Heal somebody tonight. May your praise be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Please enjoy the service tonight as we... Uh, can I just request that uh, can those sitting at the back please move forward to the front? Don't be shy. So can you please just move forward to the front and may we all have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the church. Hallelujah. Am I the only one excited to be here today? It seems like it. Can we make noise for Jesus? Hallelujah. Let's make noise for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is... This is the day that the Lord has made. Today we shall worship, we shall praise him in, his, in this place. This place is going to be on fire. Do you agree with me? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I just want to welcome you warmly. Please take your seat, uh, Majestic. I can see you still standing. I just want to welcome everyone that is here. Thank you, our visitors. We appreciate you. Our first timers, we appreciate you. We thank you that God directed you here this evening. We're just happy that you're here. And I'm just so happy that the, the now, the long awaited now is now. No, it seems like I'm speaking in parables. I'm, not sure <laughs> I'm sure you, they understand. But, but, but since you've got the gift of interpreting a lot of things, <laughs> can you interpret that for us? Amen. The now is now. Now for you that you're here, I'm sure you are aware that now is connotation for nights of worship. Now you're beginning to sound like you came here to worship God. Can you jam your hands together for Jesus? Make some noise in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I request those sitting at the back of the auditorium to please move a bit forward? You know, occupy from the second row, you know, downward. We would appreciate you. Don't stay at the back. If the angel is moving, let them be able to see you clearly. Hallelujah. I mean, it's the first edition of now this year, 2022. So far, we've had three editions, and it's been an amazing experience. And Sister Antobi, I know you remember last year's edition. It was awesome. 20, 2019's edition brought the roof down. And I'm so excited to know what God is going to do in our midst this evening. I know God is going to do great things. There were great testimonies from the previous, from the one that we have. Today, God is going to be moving. We're going to experience the move of God today. So if you've come up with anything that has been bothering you, we're here to move mountains today. Hallelujah. We're here to move obstacles out of the way through our praise and worship. We are here to collect the things that the devil has withheld from us because of our praise. There are things that we just have to praise your way through. Yes. So that is what we're here today. We're going to worship our way through. We're going to praise our way through. So that is what tonight is about. You know, the book of Psalms says God is enthroned upon the praises of his people. When we start lifting our voice in praises, the spirit of God starts moving. So it's not just an exercise to get people entertained or um, to get people happy. It is a spiritual exercise. For those of us who know the story of the wall of Jericho, when the student of Israelites started moving with the cymbals and the instruments, the whole city fell down. So I don't know what the issues you have for those who are in the auditorium for those joining us online you can be certain that as the praises go up the blessings come down amen amen saints of god let us just be reminded that we're still under the regulations of COVID. because can you please put our masks on and can you please still adhere to those to those regulations Amen. Amen. And in addition to that, you know that we are live streaming online. Hallelujah. We are on Instagram Live and we are also on YouTube. The links are available. If you go on Instagram, if you type on the, on the search box, the Paysetters Church, you will find us there. You can see it live. If you go on, on YouTube, all you have to do, and which is interesting, I still went on YouTube this morning to look at the last edition of now. If you go on YouTube and you type the 
Presetters Church, you will see now nights of worship running live. Can I ask those of us in the auditorium if there is somebody you know who for some reason could not make it into the auditorium this evening, please copy the link either on Instagram or YouTube and share it with them. Share it on your WhatsApp status story. But more importantly, for those who are very active on social media, please post, post and post. As the, mu as the ministrations is going on, take pictures, tag us at the Paysetters Church on any of the social, um, social media sites. Use hashtag Nights of Worship. Use hashtag Paysetters Church or TPC. And those were the hashtag I've got from the horse's mouth that there is something a lot of people who are posting about us. So I will request that we do that amen 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 we've got a powerful lineup today uh this evening rather we have our own worship team from the paces of church i think you'll be excited about that. For that. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have um christian Bui, the next artist I'm too excited about that in addition to Christian Mbui, we have um, Zondwa Matlangu and we have Pastor Anite Ezemo. I know, I know for a fact, you know, a fact that as the evening progresses, as the praises come down, amazing thing is said to happen. Amen. Amen. There's, there's one more thing that we're forgetting. Hey, today is a special day. Today is a special day. And for Paysetters, you are aware about that. You can see Paysetters excited. <laughs> It's so, so awesome. It's just so awesome that this evening coincides with Pastor Titi's birthday. And I've seen paysetters all over the social media sites celebrating our resident pastor. I'm excited that we're going to be celebrating her as well this evening. Amen. Let us get started. Are you ready? Yeah. Are, are That's you more ready? like it. Okay. I think this side is more excited. Are, are you ready? <laughs> okay, okay. Now, now, now we're getting there. That's great. Who we having first? It's our own worship team. Wow. I'm so excited about that. I, I mean, if you're excited about having the worship team on, that, go jam your hands together for Jesus. And with Jesus' celebration, please join me to invite the Paysetters worship team onto the auditorium to open the floodgate for us this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They said us make a joyful noise unto the Lord. If you're glad to be in the presence of God, make a joyful noise. Our God is worthy to be praised. He is indeed worthy to be praised. Amen.
Worship his wonderful name. Give him the glory. Say something wonderful to him. He's been good to you. He's been wonderful to you. He's been awesome to you. You are here this night because of his grace. You are here tonight because of his mercy. If not for him, where would you be? Somebody lift your hands and worship him. Lift your hands and worship him. Say something wonderful to him. Say something wonderful to him. Hallelujah. We worship you, Holy Ghost. We worship you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hey, Hey, My hallelujah belongs to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
specific in all of your lives you will remember this day as the day that you met with the Lord and he changed your life If you are celebrating the goodness of God in the house, you can jam those hands better than this. You can worship God with your hands. You can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You can raise your voice over the Lord. Patience of this will worship you in this place. We worship you in this place. You know, there was, there was a vibration when I came back on stage just now. I don't know about you. It is physical, but I believe it's spiritual as well. At the beginning of the service, at the beginning of the program, we said that the heart of praise is a form of spiritual warfare. It's not just a gathering to entertain. So we are not just gathered here because it's a Friday night. We are here to worship God. And the Lord, you know, when, when she was leading that song, Reckless Love, you know that it's by the virtue of his love that you're here. And if that is enough source of worship, you can worship God and appreciate him for that. Hallelujah. Amen. If you ask me, I'd like to keep you standing. But I know you're still going to dance this evening. So please have your seat in the house of the Lord. Amen. Are you enjoying yourself in the house of the Lord? 
I remember Pastor quoting on Sunday that in the fullness, of, in the presence of God, there is a fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We are just starting. We are like half hour into a three hour praise marathon. So you cannot be tired just yet. Hallelujah. Are you excited to see the next minister of the gospel? If you're excited, please jam your hands together. Let her know that you're excited. Amen. Amen. But before I introduce her, I've checked the social media pages. I see that we are going haywire there. Please keep it up. Hallelujah. Don't just sit here. And for those who are joining us online, we can see you. We can feel you. I've seen Bro, jo um, Bro Joshua and a couple of other people. Hallelujah. Minister, this evening is Minister Sodwa Matlangu. Church, please let us celebrate her. I will give you a name. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you're excited, but allow me to introduce her properly. Amen. Minister Sodwa Matlangu was born and raised in Pumalanga. You know, she currently resides in Joburg, and she's a woman that wears many hearts. She's a minister, she's a mother, she's a wife, and she's a businesswoman. That is a whole lot of a person in one. Hallelujah. Amen. She moved to Kautse in 2002 to study music at the Tiwani University of Technology, TUT, and her career in music really began in 2004 when she joined Joyous Celebration. She was with Joyous Celebration from 2004 to 2013. And for those who are familiar with Joyous Celebration, she's also, you are familiar with her. Hallelujah. You know, and during this period, amen, hallelujah, amen. During this period, and still now, she led a lot of song on that joyous celebration. She has shared stage with local and international artists, and currently she's a recording artist. I quickly, I checked my Spotify, and I saw a single on Spotify, so those who are music savvy like me, you can check her out after the ministry. Hallelujah. She serves at the Endless Hope Bible Church under Bishop McCamel, where she's a worship leader and a music director. And she has her own record label. Peace at us with Jesus' worship and blessing. Please join me in welcoming Minister Sodra Matlango to the stage. Please. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I know we didn't rehearse that. Toya is it? Toya. I know the church knows it. Toya is it? Yes. Toya is it? Toya. Can you can hold it bent? Toya is it? Toya. Toya, Toya is it, Toya is it, Toya, hallelujah. It is nice to be here. It is nice to be here. Okay, when I say it is nice to be here, you say gumna nubala, ne? It is nice to be here. Washa. That sounds so beautiful and nice. Good morning, Bala. That's it. I greet you all, saints, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I greet the angels of the house, Pastor and First Lady Ocho. Amen. And I greet Pastor Ben in the name of Jesus Christ. And I greet all the pastors that are here. Uh, protocol observed. Amen. It is nice to be here. Thank you for the invite. I don't take light. I don't take that lightly, but thank you so much for inviting me. As the MC has said, I have released the singing last week Friday. Please go stream, download. It's called Product of Grace. Zoto Thank you so much. And I know that you're gonna download and stream. I know.
by the look, I can see who's already, you know, you're going to do it. Thank you so much. We're going to start with a song. It's called Product of Grace because I believe we are all product of grace. We all have testimonies that we can share about the grace of God. So it's just only two lines. You can join us and relate to the song because the grace of God has taken, some, has taken you some way to where you are today. Hallelujah, be blessed. Lord, we thank you for your grace. Woo! 
where would we be without you? You have kept us, we thank you. Although we go through the valley of shadow of death, we know that you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Oh God, I am, I am, I am. Yes, I am, I am, I am, I am. I am. We thank you, Jesus. Mandara boshandara
of God is in this place. Ooh, there's a spirit of worship in this place. I don't know whether you feel what I'm feeling, but your deliverance is here. Your healing is here. Just receive it. Receive it. Your breakthrough, your financial breakthrough is here. Whatever that you are facing right now, when you go back at home, it is done. It is finished. Because you came to the right place where the spirit of the lord is here everything just vanish be blessed hallelujah um i grew up in the in in the tents i'm attending hallelujah so we, we we're gonna dance and sing i'm the lady in church celebration who say who always says hey 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 hey, hey. so now <laughs> i don't know whether because i'm wearing high heels eh? Men of God, I will take them off. So I don't know whether we should go or more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. Okay, let's take it. Let's take it.
nervous? Can I hear Abba Saban? Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you for that celebration. 
and from the bottom of my heart, I pray for each and every one of you. You will be celebrated in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Amen. I can see that Zodua has shaking the table now. And the table is still shaking. I can feel the vibration. We are going to take it to another level. But not now in dancing and shouting. But we are going to pray. We are still going to shake the table further. The table is still standing. It's meant to be shaking. This evening, that table, we are shaking it. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14, it says, If my people who are called by my name, how many of you are called by the name of God? I can see some people here. Oh, there are a lot of people here. No, 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 this place, this side is more people. Hallelujah. So God is saying, if people who are called by my name, they will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. Hallelujah. He says he will hear. If we will what? Pray, humble ourselves. I want you to tell you, I want to tell you something. When God speaks, he doesn't joke. I want you to check the Bible from, from Genesis to Revelation. There is not a place where God spoke and he says, ah, ha, 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 I was just joking. No, every word that is spoke, he meant them. So when he said, people that are called by my name, if they would dare, if, if they would dare and pray, he says, I will hear them. He didn't say my angels will hear them. He says, I, God, the Almighty, the one that is full of power, the one that made the heaven and earth. He says, I will hear them. Hallelujah. So this evening we are going to pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. We are going to pray this evening because we are called by his name. Hallelujah. You are here not because you want to see Pastor Titi. You are here because you are looking forward to an encounter with God. Start making policies for that land. That same God is the one we are going to call upon. So I want us to lift up our hands together in unison this evening. I want you to give him thanks this evening. I want your voice to be heard in heaven. I want you to begin to thank the Lord. I want you to thank him that is God Almighty. That is not voted into. He is full of power. He is mighty and everlasting. The scripture says from generations to generation I will bless your name before the mountains were brought forth. Thou has been God. I need you to worship the Lord this evening. I don't want you to be quiet. Thank you Father that you are merciful. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for salvation. Thank you I'm not one of them that are perishing. Thank you Father in the name of Jesus. In Jesus wonderful name we have prayed remember he said I will hear them I will answer them he was not joking so I'm standing on that word that God was not joking I want to, and this land that we stand on we are going to bless it this evening we are going to pray no more violence in our land no more shedding of blood in this land no more uproar anymore we arrest that spirit we arrest it now and render it useless i want you to join me saints of god i want you to make your petition known unto god declare into south africa peace into south africa in the name of jesus christ no more violence in this land in the name of jesus saints of god you cannot be quiet i need you to speak something i want you to declare peace in the name of jesus christ no more violence in our land in the name of jesus christ we are people called by your name oh god we stand on your word and we declare into south africa no violence we decree peace in the name of jesus we decree peace in the name of jesus from the north to the south to all the provinces we decree peace prosperity abundance into south africa in the name of jesus we decree peace abundance prosperity surplus in the name of 
Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We give you glory. We are still praying concerning this nation. We are going to pray that God give our leaders wisdom to lead us right. You know, if the wicked is ruling, there will be no peace in that land. I want us to pray that in the parliament, in the presidency, in every strata, every layer of governance in this nation, that the wisdom of God will prevail. That God will intervene in the heart of our leaders, political leaders, economic leaders, business leaders, that they will make decisions that are favorable, that uphold human rights in this nation, that uphold prosperity. There is justice in this land. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our land, South Africa. We pray, oh God, from the north to the south of South Africa. Let justice prevail, that wisdom prevail, oh God, in the hearts of our leaders, oh God, that the leaders are right. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are led by your wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, their leadership, oh God, exude your presence, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that they are walking in the principles of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, that spirit of life in Christ Jesus governs their hearts in decision making in the name of Jesus in policy formulation in the name of Jesus we thank you father lastly you are going to pray for yourselves you are going to pray some of us are looking forward to change of jobs some of us are looking forward to our business expanding. Some of us are looking forward to our name being mentioned from Cape to Cairo in Africa. I want you to begin to pray for yourself that in the name of Jesus, I walk in abundance. I eat the good of this land. I drink of the milk in the name of Jesus. I want you to join me. Father of God, we pray to God for everyone in this place. Oh, we thank you spirit of the living God thank you for your presence in this place thank you angels of God are distributing jobs are answering our oh God in the name of Jesus Christ my God we thank you for surplus for provisions for your people oh God for abundance in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you our God we glorify your name oh God we thank you father in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed and all the saints of God say Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know that everyone that comes up here to hold the microphone, they are operating under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So when you clap, we are clapping for Jesus. When you whistle, we are whistling for Jesus. When you do that one that I can do, you are doing it for Jesus. One more time, let us put our hands together for the King of Kings, for the Lord of Lords, the greatest of them all, Jesus Christ, his name. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Still in the atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving, I would like to bring up our very own. Hallelujah. They will be ministering, they will be preaching the word of God in songs to us this evening. Are you ready? Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to worship? Hallelujah. With Jesus' joy and excitement, I want to invite the Pace Setters Praise and Worship team to come forward. Celebrate them as they come. Keep clapping for Jesus as they come. Keep praising the Lord as they come. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the name of the Lord! What an awesome time we're having in the presence of God. Lift your hands one more time as we go before him in worship. Our God is worthy to be praised. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. You might not know what is happening here tonight, but burdens are broken. Sicknesses have been healed. Things are happening in the lives of people to the glory of the living God. Can you lift your hands for one moment and worship him again? For that is the reason why we are created. We are praise instruments to the most high God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus this, to, this evening. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the honor. Hallelujah. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. My love, my life, it all belongs to you, belongs to you. 
Jesus. Move the unmovable, break the unbreakable. God will believe, God will believe for it. From the impossible, we'll see a miracle. God will believe, God will believe for it. Move Of worship, just wave your hands to God. Your greatest confidence is not in the people you know, your greatest confidence is in the God of your heart. That's why you can't feel our God is a champion. The Bible says, Everything works together for good for them that serve the Lord, for them that are called according to His purpose. Amen. Amen. Be blessed as you listen. Lord Jesus, we worship you. Somebody just wave God, your hands to God. As a champion, the host of heaven. Jesus, we worship I come before my God and King. The one who gave his life for me. How is the found of his name until the nations call on him? 
Communicate to God in the spirit. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. His name is Yah. His name is Yah. Yahweh. Amen. Somebody just raise your hands to the heavens. It's Yah. Hey, Abala, hey, Yanana. Lacuna, hey, Bala, hey, Yana. Jesus, worship. Hey, man. Generations after generations. Hey, Abala, yeah. Keep praising you. Shut no what sums you up. Hey, Kalada. Then I ask the Lord, what name fit you? Hey, I'm an hour. And he said, yeah. I call the shy of a day. He called a door, she had. Hey, I'm a day. Hey, call a door. Generations after generations. Yeah, I'm a day. Keep praising. Yet no what sums you up. Then I have to know. Then I have to know. What name fits you? And what say? And this say, hey, ya bala hey, rako sho ya bala hey, ya na na. Rekodo shi ya bala hey, ya na ya za. Rako to shi ya bala hey, ikara da do shi ya na ya. 
Somebody tell me, say, generations, yeah. After generations. I want you to worship him. Yahweh is here this evening. Just want to open your mouth and say, Lord, you are here. You said in your word, you tabernacle in the presence of your people. Lord, we are here. We are your people, oh Lord. We are here to praise you. We are here to worship you, oh Father. We thank you that you are here in our midst this morning. We acknowledge your lordship tonight, oh Father. We acknowledge your supremacy tonight, oh Father. Reign in this place, oh Father. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We thank you, Lord. We magnify your name, O oh Lord. We are here, O oh Lord. We are the people that you've called by your name, that you have redeemed, O oh Father, only to give you praise. You have called us to give you praise, O oh Lord. And we are here to honor you this afternoon. We are here to honor you this evening, O oh Father. You are the mighty God, because there's no one else that we can give praise to you except to you. Lord, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow, that's so worship. Let us give that round of applause for the Lord because he's here this evening. I just want you to clap. I just want the angels to fold their arms and see what is happening at the Pacers of Church. I just want you to, to disturb the program of the angels right now so that they can sit and they say the Pacers of Church is taking our place in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, TPC. Give them a round of applause again, our worship team. Amen. Before I introduce our next speaker, let me just acknowledge men of God, Pastor Ben. Thank you for your presence. We appreciate you. We 
are taking it to the next level. Amen. Hallelujah. Our next minister is Christian Boy. He is a singer, he's a preacher, he's a songwriter, and he's the lover of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> And also, he's a song leader in 11, 11 8 church music of, of, is it 11, 8 church, am I right? Oh, it's 11, oh, okay, it's 11, 8 church. He's a song leader there. And also, he's in the church with, with Pastor Nesh Manozo, who is a senior pastor. Uh, Kristen Boo is working on, is working on his album, which will be, launched very, very soon. I'm sure he will tell us more about it. In Jesus' joy, let us welcome Christian Bui on the stage, Precious of Church. Let us clap the hands for him. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Such a privilege to be here. I want to thank Papa and Mama for the consideration, for the love. The devil has tried, he just tried to ruin our relationship, but God is greater. God is great. Amen. He will never succeed. Amen. So my name is Christian Bui, lover of Jesus, lover of Christ, lover of the work of God. I love Jesus. And when we praise and worship this evening, I want you just to let go and let the Spirit of the Lord lead you. Amen. Jesus, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as I bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship as we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. For you are great. You do miracles. So there is no one else. There is no one else. Thank you, Jesus. You are great. You do miracle. There is no one else. There is no one else. Hey.
together for Jesus. Hallelujah. One more time, my name is Brother Christian Bui, and I'm in love with you people. You guys have this energy of of God in you, and um, let's just take it away. Amen. My God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise due to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give. Somebody say! He's there. Gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill. 
some volume in my mic I'm suffering <laughs> can I have some volume in my mic please thank you one more time tell your, your, your neighbor the devil is in trouble <laughs> so this next song that we're doing as our own song, we composed it together with one of, um, one of the servants of God, Sister Deborah Lukalu. Maybe some might know her, some don't. Oh, you know her. We thank God. <laughs> but if you know the song, please don't hesitate. It's a very simple, simple, simple song. Amen? Come like this.
One more time. Yes, and yes, he the one and the other. He the I want you to move a bit from your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, move a bit, move a bit. It's about to get down. Move a bit, move a bit. Move a bit. Tell your neighbor, move a bit. So this evening, we're using every instrument that we know. We've got the drums, the bass. I even have my whistle. So it's about to go down. Tell you never, it's about to go down. Listen. Yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. No, 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 no. No. You know when Jesus says something in your life, no 
nobody can ever say no Jesus. your father your mother your brother your sister your uh, who will dare to say no to Jesus when daddy says yes nobody can say no when Jesus says yes nobody can say no 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 who can take it away no 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 can say no 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 when he blesses you no no who can take it away no no when he opens the door no no who can take it away no 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 Yeah, 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 yeah
I understand, so I will let that slide. But if you're celebrating God in this house, you can do way better. Can you jam your hands to the King of Glory? I know you're tired, I know. I mean, Minister Christian Mbui, thank you so much. 
I, I think my legs are, are aching at the moment. You know when I knew we were about to go to another level? The moment they removed their jacket, I was like, okay. <laughs> Who can keep up? And that was awesome. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there is a fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. What you have seen so far is an expression of the fact that God is here. And we're not just ended yet. We're not ending just yet. So there's another level to go to. Are you excited? Are you having an awesome time in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Now, our next minister, I mean, I was reading her profile and I was like, my Jesus. Pastor Anete Ezemo has been ministering since the age of 14. By the time she was 16, she was a sought-after vocalist in Nigeria. Pastor Anete released her first album in 1996. A duet album was released in Canada. Her first solo album was released in 2003 and she was nominated for the first Best Female Artist of the Year in the Toma Award, and the Best Female Artist of the Year and Best New Act of the Year in the Heyman Award. Administrations are noted for special anointing of healing and deep spiritual insight. Wade. She has shared stage weights, Ron Kennelly, Fred Hammond, Leon Peterson, Panama Percy Paul, Samuel Kosu, Lara George Samson, to name a few. She recently won an award for the best female gospel artist in diaspora in the Nigerian Gospel Music Award. She also organizes a yearly worship spirit or worship program. She's currently a TV presenter and also on a school. Pastor Anete Ezemo is married to Pastor Nenli Ezemo, the senior pastor of Soul Passion Harvest Church based in South Africa, and they are blessed with five children, two boys and three daughters. Peace at us, church, with Jesus' honor and with the love that she deserves. Please join me in welcoming Pastor Anete Ezemo to the stage. Please be on your feet as you welcome the servant of God. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Please don't clap for me. Can you clap for Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You unraveled me with a melody and you surround me. You surround me with a song. Songs of deliverance from the moonlight. T O Malfeas are gone. That's why I can boldly say, I'm no longer a slave to fear because I'm a child of God. I am oh, a child.
for me. He split the sea so I could boldly walk right through it. And my feet she drowned in perfect love. Hey, see, see, I will rescue me. Now I'm going to stay. I can look at you. Bye. 
Permit me, sir. Permit me, sir. I'm not a very good singer. A very good singer. But, one thing I know but one thing I know is that sometimes you can get on the stage, on the stage. and God wants to reach out to somebody. Out to somebody. And, because and because we have been given the name singers, the name singers we find it difficult to kind of flow to kind of because we're afraid they might say, we ask you to sing. So, sir, please. So, sir, please. I believe that whenever God gathers his people to worship, his people to worship. it's because he's up to something. When the children of Israel gathered on the mountain of Tekoa, it was because God wanted to lay an ambush for three nations that came over them. I don't know who, who has come against your life. I don't know who is after your help. I don't know who is after your child. I don't know who is after your marriage. I don't know who is after your job. I don't know who is after your business. I don't know who's after your ministry, but because you showed up tonight, God will lay ambush. Break it up. There is nothing. Stay there. This God can do. Absolutely nothing. This God can change. He can pull a man from the dog hill, make him to sit with the princes of the earth. There's no trouble that he's got no solution for. Every impossibility becomes possible. You know what? He's a miracle working God. A life changing God. Justin is changing God. What will never fail is a miracle. So you can look at that problem in your, in your life right now and say nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with this God. You know why I know? The fact that that door opened and you showed up in here, you are not living the same way you came. Break it down. There's an overflow, abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. There's an overflow. It's a new level. Hey, there's an overflow. 
the Holy Ghost. Say hi. This is for somebody. He said, if your boss is not careful, hello, I don't talk what I don't yell, because when I stand here, I'm afraid for my life. Hello, when I stand here, I'm afraid, because you don't joke. You don't joke there. He says, I don't know who this is for. Your boss has been messing up around you. Your boss has been treating you unfairly. You have been quiet for so long. But I came with a word for you tonight. He said, if your boss is not careful, you are taking over. Because overtaking is allowed in this kingdom. And we serve a God that wrong us when his children have been maltreated. If he can lay ambush for three nations and they began to misbehave, they began to beat themselves up. They began to kill themselves one by one until they, they managed to kill all of themselves and gave victory. For three days, they were packing the spoil. And when armies go for war, they go with silver, Go. Some of them go with all that they have because they are not sure if they are coming back. But the children of Israel, they left that battle. They didn't have to lift a finger. You will not have to lift a finger. I like that laughter. I like that laughter. I'm moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Hey, I am. Somebody call my name favor. See, I'm rising higher above any odds. Lift them, lift them, lift them, lift them, lift them, lift them. Lift them. Something is getting into this children. Leave them there. Hey! Somebody say, I'm going higher. I'm going higher. Declare it over yourself. I'm going higher. Say, I'm going higher.
Something is changing. Let me take the opportunity to salute the man of God. Forgive me. I'm always very afraid when I'm on the stage and I try to pay attention. Thank you so much for inviting me, Mama. God bless you. Happy birthday. You are aging gracefully. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for allowing God to use you to do something like this. When I got this revelation, I told myself, nothing will stop me from generating glory. When we pray, we generate glory. When we sing for God, we generate glory. When we dance, we generate glory. When you give to the poor, you generate glory. Just like the fish cannot live outside the water, a child of God cannot live outside glory. Because glory is what enhances your productivity. So every time you have the opportunity to worship, do it with all your heart. Because you're generating glory. Glory that will enhance your productivity. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate all the leaders, Pastor Ben. I think this is the first time I'm meeting you one-on-one. -on -one. I want to celebrate all the music minister, brother Christian. Wow. My sister Zodwa, God bless you. Powerful. I celebrate the choir, the instrumentalists, the guys on the console. We love you guys. You're making it happen. And everyone who showed up. I'm just going to do a song that I recently released. And I pray that it will bless you. I'm looking at the time. God bless you for this watch. We, sometimes we need this type of thing to help us. Because you know, you will say you are entering the spirit. Mbanu. The spirit must be subject to the spirit. So I told you time. Thank you. So I'm watching my time. Hallelujah. Can we try this song? God bless you, my lovely ones. Do you want to go back to your seat? Please go. There is something. You have received something tonight. Hello, my darling. Hello. High five. Good. I'll see you. I'll see you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. See, I've been through some trials. And some light affliction I've been through the storms And the heartaches it brings hey. But the one thing I've learned In my days of affliction Is to wipe away the tears of pain And get my praise on Listen Know what it feels like to be joyful and to be in pain. But the one thing I have learned through the ups and downs of life is to wipe away the tears of pain and get my praise up. So this is what I do. I raise my voice so I lift my hands to the sky. To give the one who saved me all of the praise. So this is what I do. I raise my voice so I lift my hands to the sky. To give the one who saved me all of the Say this is what I do. I don't come complaining.
Every time I think of the goodness of my God and how it's been so good to me, words will fail me, but this is what I
victorious. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you Hallelujah. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come and rise upon your feet, everyone. Let's just rise upon our feet. There is just a presence of God that is so sweet in this atmosphere. We thank you, Jesus. Just lift up those hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Just lift up those hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Break it us. Manda le broco shikla broso fregedi le bronzo tolia. Every limit is being broken. Main broco su breketesh ke brande le brans gelia. Main grosso freke libra kata libro koso breketesh etelia. Mali brokoso rakika labranso brekete. Listen to this wherever you are in this auditorium. Please listen to me. Um, when Pastor Anita was singing and emphasizing and breaking the limit, um, you know, the only thing I hear in my spirit that my assignment is right now is just to enforce it. Every limitation is broken. Whatever has kept you on the same spot before today, I come with a rod of a higher priesthood. And I declare every limitation over your life, every limitation over your family, they are broken in the name of Jesus. Listen to this. Every ministry enjoys certain grace. One of the grace that the Paysetters Church enjoys is the restoration of destiny. I cannot explain it. No man taketh this honor unto himself except he that is called of God. I cannot explain it. But there is no destiny that has come under this anointing that is confused, that does not find direction. So I stay in the place of my assignment. I stay in the place of the grace that I carry. And I declare everyone under the sound of my voice that you are struggling with one thing or the other and it looks as if you do not know the way forward. I declare a turnaround, a season of increase, a season of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Now, now listen to this. The, listen to this. Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Yea, believe in his prophet. The Bible says you shall prosper. I want you to know that in this life, I have seen the hand of God. I have seen the favor of God. I am a living testimony to the fact that God can take you from the mary clay and set you upon the hills. I stand in the place of my assignment and I decree as many people that are in this place and you are in a state that it looks it looks as if if God does not help you, you will be embarrassed. I decree you shall not be embarrassed in the name of Jesus. Listen to this. On the 21st of January 2007, I'm going to share this and I'm going to pray with you. God woke me up in the middle of a fast and I had just given a financial sacrifice. And as at that point, I got my first paid employment in 2006, which was eight years after I left the university. But on this day, because I spent my first few years in ministry, 
And then eight years after I left the university, I got my first job. By the dictates of men, I was late. But by the dictates of God, there is something called the restorer. And you see, when God restores, he does not take you to where you think you should be. He takes you to where by destiny you must be. Now listen to this. In 2007, I gave a sacrifice. And the Lord woke me up 2 a.m. January 21, 2007. And he says, son, for the rest of your life, you will never be stranded again. Now that encounter was the turnaround of my destiny. I stand as a man that God has helped. And I stand as a man that has a covenant never to be stranded. It is this dangerous. My car cannot be stranded on the road. It is a consciousness. I stand in the place of that assignment. Everyone that it appears as though you're about to be stranded, the God that sent me on this assignment will reverse that situation in the name of Jesus. May God help you. May God help you. May God help you. May God help you. May God help you, God help you. in Jesus' name. Listen to this. In my short life, I have seen God move fouls on people's behalf. Listen to this. I have seen healings. I have seen miracles. But when it comes to destiny changing, I have seen many. I have seen many. And so tonight, I stay in my office to decree that every destiny that the enemy thinks will be embarrassed because he sent me to this nation for such a time like this. Listen to this. Those that know me know I say this. I have said this for many years. Many are called to the globe. We are all called to the globe. But there are some of us that carry an art for Africa. It is by election. We did not choose it. I stand as one of those that he has preserved for the sake of this continent. And I decree that because the resources of this continent is for the saints of God, I stand in the place of my office and I decree, may the nations open up unto you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says wherever the soles of your feet shall tread upon, God has given unto you for a possession. Take the nation for a possession in the name of Jesus. Jesus, every barrier, Malake Kotoli Brakataya, they are broken right now in the name of Jesus. Meleke Durobosso Brakataya. Listen to these saints of God. When I was ordained into the ministry, precisely on the 29th of July 2000, God's servant that ordained me to the ministry says something. He said, at the season of life in a good old day, when it is all over and the story of your life will be told, three things shall follow you. Grace, mercy, and favor. I stand as a product of grace, a product of mercy, a product of favor. And I decree based on this anointing, may the favor of God open doors unto you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Thou will bless the righteous man. The Bible says, With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. Malika talabrokoso tolia, jante lekete, brataluso prakataya. New season, new season, new season. In the name of Jesus. Meleke hukariato. They told you you cannot get married again. Who said it? They told you it is over with you. Who said it? Listen to this. Let me round up with this testimony. When I started working man of God, my average age mate, my average colleague, was eight years my junior. I was 33 when I picked up my first job. My average colleague was 24. I would come to church and they would call me pastor. People in their 50s will carry my Bible. Then I would go to work and a young star would call me Benga. 
I had to humble myself because it was a season. And God says, son, where I'm taking you to is not where you are right now. He said, you need to go through this training period because of where I'm taking you to. That you might become a living testimony that there is a restorer. I stand as a living witness that there is nowhere my contemporaries are a few years later that I cannot stand. I stand as one that has found mercy and grace and favor and I decree that the anointing that turns life around turns situation for you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oh, you are good. You are Please, Mama. This hello, and we your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. <laughs> You're not about to stop doing now. Oh Lord, oh I buy you, you are mighty. Oh Lord, oh I buy you, 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 oh listen to this I share this last testimony and then I'll pray with you it was in July 2000 that a man that was going to become my pastor was ministering for Reverend Sam Adeyemi and that day he just came around on a Tuesday and we were told that no it was a Tuesday service we were told that he was flying on Thursday to the UK to return back on Tuesday for the beginning of a conference. You see, when God wants to change your story, he needs to give you a picture. Because he said, as far as your eyes can see, that is what I have given unto you. And that day, I said to myself, it looks as if London looks like going to Abuja. Because this man was leaving from Lagos on Tuesday and he was going to the UK on Thursday to return back to Lagos on Tuesday. Then I dreamt in my spirit hey. that one day flying in the air will be like taking a transport. Amen. Listen to me, your possibilities always follow your dream. And I began to say to the members of the Paysetters Church, a plane is just a medium of transport. Now, if you can decide to drive down to Cape Town, you might decide to be able to fly to Cape Town, but a plane is a medium of transport. So I began to dream the possibilities that you can move from one place to the other with no limitation. I stand here to say to you that there is a God that causes dream to come apart. As many of you that have been seeing yourself in the nations of the earth, that desire to break the boundaries of a city, that desire to break the boundary of a country, 
I stand here this day recognizing the grace of God abound in this area. May you step into that season in the name of Jesus. May this become your reality. Lastly, man of God, I said to the members of the Pacers Church many years ago, it will come to pass. I said, you will land in JF Kennedy Airport and you'll be landing, I'll be landing. And then I'll say, what are you doing there? You say, you're here for business. I'll say, I'm here for business. I'm here also here to preach. We may not have seen it yet, but we're about to see it. You will serve God with all humility. You will serve God with all holiness. And all men shall know you can be blessed and be rich. God bless you. Have your seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a night. Someone say, what a night. I, I want to say a big, big, big thank you to every um, music minister to, that made it today. Um, Sister Zodwa, thank you so much. You've been such an amazing gift, and we celebrate the gift of God in you. Pastor Ben, thank you for the recommendation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so, so much. Sister Zodua, we bless you. Brother Christian, mercy has prevailed. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. We, we, it's an honor to have hosted you for the first time, and we would have you back. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor Anite, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. We celebrate God's grace over your life. You know, every time you minister, you remind me of Shelly Caesar. You just an amazing and anointed woman of God. God bless you, ma. We celebrate God's grace upon your life. And what would I say, Pastor Ben, you know, in this city you know, there are very few people I can call my friend. Thank you for having my back. Thank you for having my back. You know, I, I say that with all humility. Paysetters Church, if there is one pastor that I can call on any time in this city, he's sitting right here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I love you so much. And thank you for being a brother indeed. For every one of you that made it, can you imagine a worship night without you? No, 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 no. Thank you so much for showing up. It is an amazing night. It's been an amazing night of worship. And God bless every one of you. You know one thing we, we believe in Paysetters Church? We believe in starting on time and we believe in finishing on time. So when the Spirit is moving, we control ourselves. Amen. So that next time you can still come back and worship with us. But you would agree with me. Today's service will not be complete without celebrating Pastor Titi. Hallelujah. Can I invite Pastor Titi to please come to the podium? Listen to this. When Job took me out of the country, you'll be shocked that um, July the 3rd will make it four years that have not been physically the resident pastor of the Paysetters Church. And when I come back and I see that the work of God is still marching on, this for me is a testament to the fact that God has given unto us great leaders. And I want to say, you know, the first year, man of God, that I had to relocate, I was not keen on saying because she's my wife, she will be the resident pastor. I am not that traditional. I needed Pastor Titi to earn and stamp our authority. After six months, I gave it a one-year trial. But after six months, it was obvious that this was our resident pastor. Paysetters Church, celebrate with me. God's servant, our pastor, Pastor Titi, for all she represents to the body of Christ. We love you, we celebrate you from the depth of our heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And before I call Pastor Ben to wrap up in prayer, 
Um, Jojo, you want to sing happy birthday? Hallelujah. And then after that, Pastor Ben, you please join me to just pray for the celebrant and close the service for us. Happy birthday. Can we rise up, Pace Setters Church, as we happy close the service? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. tonight has been very very wonderful I think one of the things that has happened tonight is that tonight has been a night of a making out of the decree that the man of God has declared there has been a making that has been done here people have been turned into ministers people have been turned into apostles in the marketplace because the grace of the man of God is dual both for ministry and to the marketplace I want to let you know testimonies are going to fly out of what has been decreed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight. You never gather your people in vain. Every time you gather your people is for a prophetic agenda. And we know tonight has been one of those nights where you've been able to gather us because you wanted to shift us into another dimension. And so we embrace that dimension in the name of Jesus. We embrace those levels in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Pastor Titi. As she celebrates her birthday, we declare as her age is changing, so is her season shifting. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you have elevated her to a place of a resident pastor over the Pest Settles Church, we thank you for a fresh anointing, a fresh release, fresh glory, dimensions of creativity like never before, resting upon her in the name of Jesus. The gift of administration is multiplied greatly upon her life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for Pastor Benga. As you have anointed him, O oh God, and set him up over this continent of Africa. Thank you that you're taking him higher and higher and higher and higher. Even to the regions beyond in Jesus' name. And for everybody that came here, we declare their expectations will be met. They will not be disappointed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory for what you have done. Thank you for Christian. Thank you for, for, for Zodua. Thank you for Pastor Nita. Thank you for every minister that ministered in songs thank you for everybody that served father you replenish them tonight to the praise and glory of your name and Lord, oh Lord God to you be the glory to you be the honor to you be the praise to you be the adoration to you be the thanksgiving for everything that you have done for when we started we prayed and we've said it showed up now as we end and we give you all the glory because you indeed showed up in Jesus name and God's people shouted amen. amen hallelujah please before you go um just for them for everyone that is visiting for the first time or for all our guest artists please we'll just see you briefly before you go um please this coming sunday um you've heard me talk about my pastor dr albert odulele <clears throat> what very few people know about pastor is that pastor is a twin now, his twin brother, who happens to be an apostle to the marketplace, will actually be with us this Sunday. Now, when you see, so Dr. Ola Vincent Odulele will be ministering live at the Paysetters Church this coming Sunday, and it promises to be an amazing time in the presence of God. So I want to encourage you Please do not miss it. Remember, the time is 10 o'clock.
caring, we are generous, and we will not put you to harm's way. Exactly. Nobody is taking a taxi home tonight. It's either you get home on a Uber or somebody drops you home. God bless you. We love you. Have a good night.